This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. When creating sketches, not only are the individual sketch entities important, but there are also some tools that are necessary in order to be able to complete your sketch. When you're creating things with lines, squares, and circles, there are going to be times that you need to add fillets or chamfers. For instance, in this simple little rectangle here, maybe I want to add a radius onto this edge. A couple ways you can do this. The quickest and easiest way is to use the fillet tool. Most of these tools are available in the command manager or the shortcut bar. Others are available in the Tools, Sketch Tools. So we'll take a look first at the Sketch Fillet. A fillet is just a rounded corner. So there are not really very many parameters that need to be set in the window here. All we need to do is set the radius. So we'll go ahead and leave it at 0.1. And then select the entities to fill it. A couple different ways you can do this. You can select both lines. And as you move the mouse pointer over, it will give you a little hint as to what the shape is going to be. So you just select here. Yellow highlight will mean, okay, this is where the fillet is going to be added. If that's fine, click the green check mark. And the radius is applied and the tangent relations added. Another way, and often the quicker way, is to just select the corner. I could still do it this way. But one click is better than two. Just as with the other, you get a highlight that shows what the radius is going to look like. Click the green check mark, and the radius is added with the relation. The two options here in the parameters outside of the radius is to keep the corners constrained. Clearing this option allows you to actually move the part around. Whereas if we left that option the same, enabled, when we created the radius, you'll see relationship is still shown here. And the sketch is fully defined. You cannot edit the sketch by moving it. In order to move this, you would have to delete this relation. Then you'd be able to move it. The last option is to dimension each fillet. This comes in handy a lot. Create a new rectangle. I'm going to set 0.25. Keep the corners constrained and we'll dimension each fillet. When we do this, each individual radius will have a radius callout. So we can go and make changes to individual ones without affecting the other ones. However, if we clear that option, which is cleared by default, we select the four corners. They're all controlled with the single radius dimension. So if we change this one, all four change. And you can tell this by the relation that's shown here, this little equal sign. It means it's an equal radius to the arc. The sister tool to the radius or fillet command is a chamfer. Here in the command manager, to get to a chamfer, just click the downward pointing arrow and you'll say sketch chamfer. So let's go back to creating another rectangle. Sketch chamfer. This one, it gives you two options. One is to set the angle and the distance. So you can set a 30 degree angle. This will be the only time you need to change the angle if you don't want a 45 degree angle. So we select the two points. And the first line that was selected is what the angle was added to. If we did it the other way, the 30 degree angle is added to the other line. The distant distance option, you can set two specific distance for the chamfer instead of specifying the angle. But if you want a 45 degree angle, select equal distance. And both distances will be set with no angle. Probably the most common way to do it. Next, 
is trimming and extending lines or other sketch entities. It's another one of those very important and heavily used sketch tools. Starting with the trim. Clicking the trim will give you these options. Power trim, you drag a line. If you use other CAD packages, it's like creating a fence. Corner, selecting two sketch entities, will trim off and actually create the corner. With trim away inside, select two lines. Then when you select the entities, only those that fall within both of the selected entities will be trimmed. So I couldn't trim these, but I can trim these out. Whereas the trim away outside, select the same two lines. I go to select this one, it would trim away the outside and automatically extend it to the next selection. These lines cannot be selected because they already fall within. Last is the trim to closest. This one is probably, I hesitate to say it would be your most commonly used because power trim I use a lot more recently. But the trim to closest is easy because all you got to do is just have that selected all the time and pretty much anything you want to do is done. You don't have to remember which is crossing what. It just trims. It's kind of the power trim in my opinion. The sister command to the trim command is the extent entities. There are no options to set. It's just straightforward. You select a line or arc or any other sketch entity and it'll automatically extend it up to the next line until it cannot be extended any further. Some people don't like being able to switch between these two. You can right click and switch in the right click menu. But there is a really cool trick with using the trim. While in the trim, you can actually do an extend. If you select on the line, click and hold your left mouse button, and then drag the mouse, you'll see a little highlight. It actually extends for you. You don't have to leave the trim command. Then you can go through and finish the rest of your trims. So now it's on to the next one. Convert entities. Actually. I'll show that in a part. Convert entities will project a selected edge or a point or an arc onto the sketch plane. So if we have a plane here up top, I'm going to make one up top here. We had a sketch. Maybe we want to have the outside shape in a single sketch. Select convert entities. Make your selections on the part. Say OK. And it's projected onto that 2D plane. You can pre select areas and then select the tool and it would do it. You just have to remember to say OK or cancel the command or hit escape. Next to the convert entities in the flyout, is intersection curve, kind of the sister command to convert entities. Comes in handy if you want to create a sketch from something that doesn't really have an edge. For instance, we want to create a sketch that matches this arc here. So we'll create a sketch that intersects the face. Clicking an intersection curve, we select the faces we want to convert. So we can select a couple of these. Say OK. And a sketch entity is drawn on that 2D plane exactly where that plane intersects the face. 